What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Pixel Privateers. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and continue to play a little game that's actually quite a bit of fun. I like it. It's a simple game. There's not a whole lot of depth to it, but at the same time, I'm finding it enjoyable. We're going to head down to Scob Novella, I guess, because we finished off this planet right here. We're also looking for a whole bunch of random, like, we're looking for some kind of, like, crystals or something that will go inside of there. And as of right now, we haven't had a whole lot of luck finding it. My guess is that maybe we do these quests right here after the jump that a sudden power surge disables all security systems aboard Division 64. Without any internal sensors, it is difficult to tell what's going on. Luckily, comms are still up, and the bridge crew is reporting of the alien unlike any other we've met before who has just teleported to the bridge. Take a team of privateers and figure out what the alien wants to secure the ship by force if necessary. Okay, well, I can actually level up my crew first before I do that because I've been running the missions at higher difficulty so that we can get ourselves better gear and also level up faster. Since we've got Kergrarmac Hilero, I've got to do something about these names. These names are just... Yeah, I'm going to rename you. Your name is going to be... What are you? You're like the Assault Marine. Your name is going to be Man Masher. There we go. And then Marinette Postone. You are an engineer. So I'm going to call you Tinker Toes. Done. This person is a guard. So I'm going to call you fist to face because you're always doing, like, gangster shit up close. And then this guy right here is a medic. And so we'll name him Boo Boo Binder. Perfect. So we've got ourselves taken care of. Everybody's got an appropriately themed name. Did I already swap out gear for all these guys? Let me sort my items by damage. I don't think that I did. So Man Masher or Tinker Toes or Fist of Face. There we go. You've got 160 DPS. I could take that up to 190 if I really, really wanted to. And I do want to. I choose to want that. I choose to desire it. We've also got a couple of guns in here that are looking pretty dope. We've got a two-handed bullet weapon. Looks like an assault rifle. We're going to give that to Boo Boo Binder because he's one of the OGs, so he gets first pick of the weaponry. 124 on this individual and... 123 on this individual so we're just gonna have to like swap everything over right now because they're really really good then we're gonna sort by armor very rapidly to see what we got going on we got a 768 exceptional heavy armor it weighs a goddamn ton but it's probably good for us let's give it to him it's weighty but it'll work we got a 352 which I'm gonna put on man masher can't actually wear it it's too heavy so we'll give him the 303 with tinker toes he can handle the 352 though, so we'll give that to him. Ooh, that looks dope. That's really, really cool armor. It's got, like, shoulder pads and shit. Who doesn't like shoulder pads and shit? I mean, I guess a lot of people would probably like one or the other, but you get what I'm saying. You get what I mean. As far as helmets go, we got an 18 armor helmet right there that makes your critical rating go up by a mess. I'm going to slap a helmet on him. Sure, he's going to have a helmet from now on. You've already got a helmet looked into. That's an exceptional helmet. Gives more threat and more health. That's a great one for a tank. Tinker Toes. I could give you some more critical damage. I could give you some more critical rating. Let's go with the critical rating. We'll give you like some night vision goggle things going on. And then from there, we got a 14 armor helmet, but yours is pretty good. Nothing to worry about right there. All right, back to the galaxy map. Everybody on board. It's probably going to cost us nothing to do this because we're already on our ship. So I doubt it costs us any matter to go investigate. Hopefully it's not too gnarly. What is going on here? Greetings, humans. I am Void Seeker Beta. Thank you for accepting me aboard, for I have an important task for you. We haven't accepted you on board. You just appeared here. I was stranded in space. I do not know for how long. Even I lost track. Your ship simply materialized around me. Huh. So what was the task? It's actually a series of tasks. I have a premonition that we may be able to help one another. Judging by the technology on board your vessel, I assume you are not originating from this galaxy. Am I correct? Yeah, we just got here. The great old stream weakened at the precise time you arrived here. You are unable to travel home until you empower it. I happen to know how to do that. Did you notice these ancient pillars on the planetoid field? They are actually an interface to a primordial device, ages old. When the whole system has been activated, the link between the device and the wormhole will stabilize and the stream is strong once again. Okay, so how does this help you? I was sent here through the wormhole just as you were. And just as you, I am stuck in this galaxy. Alright, so what should we do? 
At your current strength, I have no use for you, but I can give you some missions to help you increase your abilities. You may contact me through your ship's main screen, and I will mark mission locations on your galaxy map. Good luck, humans. The galaxy has grown more dangerous than it has ever been. Alright, well, at least we didn't have to fight anybody. I thought we were going into combat right now, so I was getting strapped up and ready to go. So if I wanted to request missions, I can get them from Void Zeke or Badar. Alright. So we got multiple people that are ready to go with us right now. We'll drop on into here. It's at disturbing level. That seems to be about the right level for the difficulty of our team right now. If we're going in with everybody. We already have enemies lined up against us. So let's get that moving. I'm actually going to have you taunt just to make sure they all stay on our person right now. You guys have range, so I'm not going to worry too much about firing like haphazardly into the group. That guy needs to go right now. It looks like our range guys are starting to deal decent damage. It looks like it just takes like a really high crit rate in order to make that worthwhile. $28 just laying on the ground. Just laying there. Just laying there. Nobody knows why it's laying there. We don't bring up the fact that I murdered somebody to make it lay there. We don't bring up that part of the process. We keep it to ourselves. You, sir, keep firing bullets at a ma. Exactly. Nikwa boom, no. Nikwa boom, definitely. Yes, if you're Nikwa, you're getting boomed. Sorry, pal. We just walked through a big-ass log or maybe the leftovers of, like, a sea cucumber. We're walking out of its booty hole right now. Booty hole sea cucumber, I love you. Booty hole sea cucumber under you. Booty hole sea cucumber, you're the best. Let me have your booty sea cucumber vest. They wear a lot of tech vests, is the point of that song. It's really for the promotion of vests for sea cucumbers that they can buy at Space Gap. Ew, you ugly. Your daddy, son. All right, so we're going to open up this little... Oh, there's wormy things on the ground. Yeah, maybe just smack those until they die. I kind of wish there was a way to put everybody on, like, high alert where they attack. Ow. That dude had a grenade launcher. That shit hurts. So we've got hold position, stats, damage meter. Oh, cool. We have, like, a damage meter window. That's kind of cool. Boo Boo Binder's not doing that great on our DPS meter, but at the same time, that's not really his job. Oh, it's an elevator. I had no idea. I wasn't actually looking at it clearly. I was like, what happens if I interact with this over here? There you go. Pull all fire towards yourself. I would say to do that right there, too. Just knock him back a little bit. Get him up out of our face. Did we lose somebody? Holy shit, we lost somebody. We have, like, a dead party member. I had no idea. How did he get one-shotted so quickly? He must have gotten mashed before I had the ability to, like, throw out a heal or anything like that. Got pain suppression. Put it on you. Okay, so that dude's down. Let's continue doing our job here. Hopefully Boo Boo Binder isn't in too bad a shape. We've got Calming Whisper. Go ahead and throw pain suppression on yourself, G. Make sure that you're not, like, getting whooped inside out. Because we are taking damage right now. This is the first time we've taken, like, real damage in a while. We're going to have to spend some matter in order to get Man Masher back, unfortunately. 23 matter. That's not that bad, actually. I thought it was fuel. Plasma slings. Got some good gear right there. We'll wait for him to re-arrive. He's going to rematerialize and clone real fast. There he is. There's our guy. Thanks for saving me. Uh, technically, you were already dead, but we're not going to bring that up. Not going to bring that up. I think that would make his mother very, very upset if she knew how dead he was like 30 seconds ago. Because he was really, really, really goddamn dead. Alright, everybody in here. Let's get some healing spells moving out. Definitely don't let this dude run up on us. Where's my taunt at? Yeah, make sure that taunts are like flowing and stuff because I'm pretty sure melee is what got us killed last time. Fire a bomb at that dude. He's got like some kind of badass shield thing going on. There you go. Fly on over to him and teleport. What does that one do? Oh, yeah. Eliminate him from the combat, then. Just make him, like, a non-factor. Unless we can't do that. Keep firing bombs at him, then. Whatever we gotta do. Healing really kind of seems to be on the low slide this time around. I feel like it's not really getting done. You shoot at this guy or something. And then also give you a stim pack so that you're not dying quite so horribly. Fire a nade at him if you can. And this guy's out of his shield, so now refocus on him. Make sure that all DPS stays on the tank so that we don't have to heal multiple people. We only have to heal one. That dude took forever to kill. That guy was soaking hits like he didn't give a shit. But he dropped heavy company armor, so that's cool. Fire mental scanner cannot be used in combat. What does that do? 
surveys the environment. I have no idea what the function of that device is. Like, maybe it allows you to scan for, like, interactable stuff on the map or something? I have no clue. Really, really not so sure. We are currently in combat because we were fighting with slugs. On this side, we're going to get him with a... Ooh. Yeah, I would love for missiles to no longer be fired at my person. That shit is really horrifying. Get him with a missile. Yeah. We can fire missiles at his person, but not at my person. We spread that shit around a little bit. So does taunt not work on him when he uses that ability? I'm a little concerned about this. There we go. He dropped a beret. We've got pills and everything else, so people should be getting healed right about now. Like, let's say I use the environmental scanner over here. What does that do? I have no idea what that does. Apparently, I'm supposed to be surveying areas or something. Use the environment scanner to find anomalies in all areas. Oh, in each area. Okay. Well, then I wasn't really scanning up until like two rooms ago, so we can look around and see if we can find it. But we haven't been real lucky so far. Get another elevator on this side. Fire something at him. There we go. Knock them back. We'll work on these guys one at a time. We'll throw out a taunt. Put pain suppression on you. So you are pain suppressed, dear sir. We have not located any anomalies as of right now. You just fall back. If he's just going to sit back and fire, then... Don't waste your health like trying to fight with him, basically. Cyborg boot disc. That'll be a research item. Keep firing missiles at his ass. Pain suppression you. I'm going to say to do suppressing fire just to give us a chance to dodge, maybe. We'll keep firing missiles at him. He didn't drop... Sh oh, there it is. Positron shank and some other good stuff. Let's see what's going on in this room, though. Oh. Radioactive shards are right there. So it looks like we get like a, a cue whenever we scan that tells us where we're supposed to be going if we're in a room with an anomaly. There we go. So probably not a chair. That's only the best scientific information from this survey job. Only the best. Nothing inside that room, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now ah, we got another big one. Got ourselves another big one. Let me go ahead and taunt back onto the tank. I would like for our damage to be scattered for just a minute. Just to make sure the ones that need to die actually are getting deaded. That's a little dude. He needs growth hormones or something. We need to help him out. He's tiny. He apparently just punches people with his little tiny... I mean, he's got a giant rocket launcher thing on that arm. Did we lose him again? Oh, shit. He's up here. That actually explains a lot why my DPS is suffering quite so badly. Yeah, keep throwing heals on him. We don't really have a choice. If you don't heal him, he's not going to make it. So, you know, maybe redistribute that. We've got a smoke bomb right there. Cover the landing party. I don't know exactly how that helps me, but it seems kind of useful. Pain suppress. There we go. Finally finished that one off. Alien internal organ. Assassin suit. There's probably some kind of scanny thing in here. But we got to go back and pick up our other teammate. Toxic gun stays on. Oh, good. A lot of games, you'd be surprised how many games where when there's something on a ladder, it gets, like, stuck. And then when the ladder goes up and down, it, like, levitates up into the air like it's got a boo-boo ghost, like, levitating that shit. It's not good, bro. Scan this room for anomalies. I like how it tells me. All right, so there's anomalies over here. Got one, like, right there. Okay, so we got a coin. My coin. On this side, we've got the USB 5 slot in the wall, I guess. The room has been surveyed. Wood that looks like metal. Sure. Why not? You can have wood that looks like metal inside your house. I will never doubt you. 
You deserve all the finer things in life in your potential alien death dungeon. See, and this time we got everybody on the same page. Go ahead and... Yeah, do that for me, please. Fire missiles at him, and when he decides he wants to die and no longer be as adversarial as he's being right now. It looks like our character is using the tissue repair like as much as possible. It's just we're taking a lot more damage in this run than we were previously. Like the heals are going out, it's just the enemies are hitting quite a bit more nastily. Go ahead and turn on him. Doesn't look like we have any loot laying around. Was this room an anomalous room? It was. So we've got an amalgamation of various particles in the shape of a six-laded elephantoid. There might be something right here. A result of the recent budget cut. God. So something's like right there, maybe? I've been watching a lot of like... There's this channel I found called Counter Monkeys. I really, really like it, though. I watch it a lot. I never actually watched Counter Monkeys before. It's basically just this dude telling D&D stories. That's pretty much the entire thing. Like, there's not a whole lot else to it. What the fuck are those, like, levitating sparkle crabs? What is going on out here? Oh, he's dead. Okay, so they need to have, like, an actual graphic that denotes somebody's dead instead of them just, like, phasing out into the background and sitting there. Because I had no way to tell that dude was dead. Yeah, it looks like there's, like, a gravitational anomaly right here or something. Because it was lifting up the crabs and making them run all over the place. Yeah, get him healed with the pills. And then also... I mean, honestly, the taunt appears to be, like, the most useful thing we have available to us this entire time. I use the taunt far more than any of my other abilities. And it's not the other abilities are, like, bad or anything. It's just that, like, the taunt makes sure that everybody else doesn't get dunked on hella hard. They aren't playing hack-a-shack upside everybody else's head, you know? A torpedo launcher right there. Was there anything inside this room? Can I scan this? Seems like maybe I might be able to scan this area. No, this doesn't count. Oh, no, it does. Okay. Scan the room for anomalies, then. Shit. It's probably nothing. Probably. And then we've also got a potent cure for affluenza. Oh, a potential cure for affluenza. Well, that'd probably be a good one to bring along. What's going on over here? I'm gonna get items. This package is for employees over. It's some kind of weird space monster. Don't touch it. We've got a range duty, a hollow projector, an officer's uniform. So we got our first perps. Our first leap perps, son. Getting paid out with them purpley nerps. I'm gonna murder that lizard just to show him that we got the perps. And then we got no patience for anybody that wants to fade the style. So we completed that. That leaves us with one company mission left. And we have no Badar missions, so I'm going to request some Badar missions too. I don't know how that leaves us any differently than what we got going on already, but hopefully it does something for us. Crew probably leveled up a whole bunch inside of here, so fist to face... Just keep making yourself hit hard. I'm a min-maxer at my core. I really sincerely am. I just want you to hit as hard as possible. And then from there, I'm going to start dumping points into making him hit faster. But that's for later. That's not for right now. Boo Boo Binder, you are doing all kinds of random stuff in here, and you've got 10 points to spend. I'm going to give you a much higher chance to crit, and then maybe a little bit more strength so that you can carry better gear along with you. Basically take strength up to 10 on everybody, and then work on other stats. So there you go. Man Masher is all ready to go. Take strength up to 10. And then from there, maybe Tinker Toes get you going on a little bit of that crit action. Make you hit a little bit harder every so now and again. Uh, we've got a quantum. Yeah, add to cargo, whatever. Make it do its thing. We got all kinds of shit in here that needs to be identified. So you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to take the hit for our research. We're just going to let that happen right now. It looks like it's being offset mostly by alien lungs and shit. Yeah, it's at minus 62 a second. Who cares? We've got 50,000, bro. We've got so much, so much going on. He's got tractor beam duration increased by 100%. Salt frame has a knockback effect inside the area in front of the vanguard. And then I'm going to reset these. We've got the melee auto retaliator. Has a chance to retaliate when hit with melee attacks. Chance is scaled by weapon attack rate. That might be really, really good because he's using a heavy weapon. 
So I will go out on a limb for that one right there. That gives us strategic structure scanners. We've got memory nullifier. We've got EMP grenades. He can have Marines gain 20% more armor from all equipment. Yeah, I seem to recall... Most of his not being things that I was super attracted to. Plus 10% to all healing done for medics. Happy pills raise intellect by 20%. Defibrillators heal friendly units by using 15% of medics' current health and channeling that to the wounded friendly. Also got nanobot stream chains to additional targets. Healing for 50% of the original amount. Yeah, that sounds good too. I'll confirm that 30,000 for right now. Then we'll play around with other stuff. Combat teleporter... What class is that right there? That's maybe the scout possibly? No, the scout's that one. So what class is that? Some kind of battle class or something. Who's still got points left? Oh, we've got stuff that got added to our inventory, so we probably want to take a look at that and see what we can do with it. It gives you critical damage, spawns a holographic decoy at the mission start. A couple cool little things in here. 600 armor on that piece over there, too. So let's go sort by damage. See if there's anything really, really sexy in here. That's a 314. That's not bad at all. Slap that on him because he's going to be dealing some real damage now. He's got a chance to confuse and cripple the target. That also attacks a lot faster, so we're not relying on like slow hits in order to get things done. Got a Blazing Toxic Gun, which does 242 per target. Where's my... Yeah, Toxic Gun sounds like something that maybe a medic would have. That sounds good to me. Let me resort by DPS again, just to make sure everything is lined up where I want it to be. We can get a 200 DPS Mac 10 over here, a spray caster of brawn, and then we've also got a 124, which is outdone by a 178 by a pretty long margin. This is definitely one of those games for people that like to hot swap gear, like as you're going through, just looking and comparing things and seeing what they do. He's got dodge chance, but we could. Oh my god, a thousand armor on that one! Holy shit! Range damage reduction and increased block chance. Well, that has to go to him. If it doesn't go to him, it seems like a waste. Everything's too heavy for him right now, but he can wear the 886, which gives block amount and block chance, which actually isn't that great. I will probably put that... Well, he can actually do... Put that on my Marine, I guess, since he's been getting whacked super hard the last couple times. We'll put the 205 on you, maybe? A little overweight, unfortunately. He's going to need to bring his strength up to 10 if we really want this to work. 352 on him, though. We can drop the 7-something on him, no problem. So there it is. He's got the super awesome armor that appears to be wearing the underwear on the outside because that's just how heroic we are. With this thing right here, what's the point? Faster tools percentage. Oh, we should put that on the medic because that gives him 28.8. It makes him use his tools faster. I'll put that on him so that his tool cools down way faster. So every 1.5 seconds, he'll be able to use that, but... He should be able to use it now. If that lowers the rating by quite a bit, it might be more useful. Other than that, unless we have like another tissue, sort them by type, please. Unless we have another tissue thing, I don't see myself really using that. Let's load some fuel for right now to get the inventory slots moved out. What is that right there? A quantum dissonance transmutator top. Looks ancient. You can combine it with your base. Quantum dissonance transmuter. And the transmitter can be used to transform items to other items. However, it achieves this is currently unknown. We also have a pan temporal skip jet. You know, it resets the cooldown. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Okay. I don't think I have a whole lot of, like, tools at the moment, strangely enough. Yeah, I think we're a little bit low on tools at the moment. I do need to sell a lot of this crap and get it out of my inventory so that we have other things to work with. But a bulk repeater of curiosity. Well, DPS is lower, so I'm not going to play around with it. I like new weapons and everything, but we're doing pretty well as far as our gearing goes, I think. And with that, I'm going to end our episode. This right here is Pixel Privateers. If you want to play the game for yourself, you can get it down below at the link. Aside from that, I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Bye-bye, everybody. I do.